Oh! What? I'm not going to say. I don't care about the uh, about the wind noise at the minute. Just give me all of it. <laughs> Explain Take what's going on. One. Take one. One of one of many. One of a hundred. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to. Let's start again. <laughs> Tell me where to put my hand. You're gonna have to like lower, 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 a little bit lower. No, you've you've totally buggered it now. Today I'm going to take you round my R56 Mini track car and I'm going to take Stuart for a drive and get his reaction and see what he thinks about it. So, as I'm going to ask you the questions, oh, yes. you're out of focus. Right, so tell, tell us a little bit about it. So when did you get the car? So I bought it in February as a completely standard car. Someone had had it as a track car before, but they'd put it back to a standard spec. Then I decided that I wanted to do a load of crazy stuff to it. So I stripped out the interior and bought a cage, bought bucket seats, harnesses, steering wheel, done all the, the classic things for a track car changed a few cosmetic things on the outside so what have you done actually like brake wise what like the brakes have you upgraded them yep so i changed the discs and i changed the calipers and i changed the pads so i've got bigger discs that are drilled and grooved put uh, like a race spec track spec pad on them to give me extra performance and put slightly bigger calipers on them cool suspension suspensions on bc coilovers absolutely horrifically stiff not very practical for the road either but are they any good yeah they are good and they handle and i put 15 mil spaces on it all round and added uh abon zzr semi slick tires to it so traction's okay i guess yes, traction is okay okay so what and engine wise what did you get done to it so it's had like an air filter and a remap done prior to when i owned it not too sure on the power at the moment need to get it on a dyno to figure out exactly what it is but on. roughly 250 240 yeah, you didn't beat Jamie though, did you? Yeah, but Jamie was in a 700 horsepower yeah. car. Okay, well, we're, we're, no, 600. So don't Sorry, don't so start bigging it up. You'll see the excuses in the other video. Yes. Which the cage is cool. Who, where is that from? Uh, that's a JP cages, and it's welded into the floor. That was fun. Nearly set the car on fire three times welding it in. As you can see, there. Well, you can't see very well. There's a sticker there somewhere. There you go. Look, JP cages. And what did you, did you get somebody else to fit it, or was it yourself? Or yeah, I wouldn't have a clue how to weld it, so I huh? was. Uh, Why not? Yeah, I'd end up sticking in the car and the wheel and God knows what together. So I got my friend to do it, who's quite good with a welder. Okay, well, quite good with a welder. Quite good with a welder. But the bucket seats, they're the Monaco's, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are, and they. So they're were... actually a budget seat. To be yeah. Fair. yeah they are a budget i didn't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money because i'm trying to do it as an affordable track car yeah they were an absolute pig to get in on the runners uh clive gave me the runners because he bought some seats and they came on mini runners we had to cut and adjust and cut and adjust and turn them inside out just to get the seats to fit in place without hitting the doors and being at the right height as well oh there you go bloody lovely and what uh what else come on tell me more four point harnesses four point keep you in your place when you do decide you want to hit something I've changed the steering wheel to a Sparco. Have you hit anything yet? Touch wood. Not yet. Not yet. But have you spun off before? Not on this. Not in this. <laughs> not in this, because we're not going to bring that one up. Okay, not we'll in this, move on. Not in this. So Sparco steering wheel. The interior is actually pretty cool. If I I get in it in and out of it comfortably, but the uh, the steering wheel is cool, but probably too small for my liking. But then you're a small person. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not small. I'm average for a woman. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to keep it quite a nice place to be, so I kept a lot of the interior in. Took the back seats out completely to allow for the cage to be fitted, but a lot of like the door cards and the roof trim, I wanted to keep that because it's got a Harman Kardon system as well. So the sound system is still nice. So on the long drives down to the Nurburgring for five hours, you can actually have a little bit of comfort and it's 
still a nice place to sit. And there's a lot of carbon in there, isn't there? There is a lot of carbon. Carbon door trims, carbon dash. So is that standard JCW? Yes, it is. Standard for factory. Bloody hell. That's not too bad. So, really, I've, I have been out in this once. Yes. You've taken Owen out in it. Yep. You've taken Nick out in it. Yep. So, yeah, we won't go any further than that. Um, but, yeah, all I'm going to say is, well, you need to take me for a drive. Take and, actually, drive. and then yeah. you can drive it yourself? No. No? Yeah, I will. Okay. I'm not going to say no. It's all working now. Right. I have part of your seat belt up my ass. <laughs> Pardon? I have part of your seat belt up my ass. Right. Strap in or strap on, however you feel. Well, I'm strapped in. If you want to strap on, that's your. Uh, <sighs> what do I strap on to? Your choice. This is a ball ache every time coming into a race car, isn't it? Race car life, yo. Yo. Race car life. Right, so, take it easy, I'm a beginner. Not a lunatic down these roads, Lou. I'm not even speeding. There's no need. I'm not even speeding. So even though I have been in this before, I know how bumpy it is. Which is nothing as bumpy as that if you would have seen that bloody Cosworth powered whatever thing that was, that was ridiculous. This is bumpy, this is more street bumpy. That's just like bumpy ass bumpy. It just farts, it's like the end of a fart. It's like. Is it gonna do it again? Go make on. it do it again. Make it do it again. Yeah, see, that's just a funny noise. But I must admit, which is pretty good in here, is you've got seatbelt light, airbag light, engine. Tire pressure, loss, restraint, tired. Yeah, pressure, so the restraint careful. The restraint light is due to the fact that I cut my seatbelt on. Well, you do get some sausages in this world and it just so happens to be Miss Bowden is trying a sausage. to get it back on with the cage in. Trying to get everything back behind there was a nightmare and I decided that I would never wear a seatbelt again, it would always be the harnesses, so we just cut them out. Are you gonna keep this car forever? No. Sell it as is, spares and repairs. Sell it as is, someone else can have fun on the track of it like I do. Okay, what we'll do. Right, what we'll do. Is we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll let them go. We'll let them go. And then we'll have the whole road to ourselves. And then we'll have the whole road to ourselves. So how was your day today? It was all right, really. Yeah. Lovely day. Is that a nice space for you? Yeah, you're not going to catch up with them very quick, are you? Are you sure? Yeah. That sounds like a challenge. Go on. Oh, really? 
freaked. Give me a second to breathe. So we need to stop for a minute. Just need to get my air back. My, 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 it took the wind out of me a bit. How should not? That's the problem. thing is the, here is fine but then there isn't <laughs> I wonder why that is <laughs> so I wonder why that bit's not uh, yeah but I've got the same on this side you can be fat no. you say I've got boobs nice though. tits <laughs> thank you very much I'm quite impressed with them myself oh, oh, oh fuck but did you really want to hit that hole well I didn't oh I just surfed on my left nut oh you made me feel sick <laughs> I feel better now, I've okay. had a breather. I was just doing what um, you done last time when we were on a drive. I just want to know what the handling's like, because obviously I had the Clio, and the Clio for handling was brilliant. But this does actually feel better when you sat as a passenger. Okay. So I would like to know, in comparison to what it's like to the Clio, even though the Clio is no longer with us. <sighs> but it's gone to a good home. A guy wants to turbo it, so it's made me happy. First thing is with me driving it is it's uncomfortable as hell with this side. But it's a race car, so I can't deal with it. It's a bit too big for a six foot four man, isn't it? It is, yeah. I was thinking I, this did come across my mind of like what do I get next? Do I get one of these? I'm I'm probably against it now, to be fair. I'll try and get the Yeah, I got it. I got the fart. You got the fart. You're I got the fart. Noise, yeah, the fart's quite funny actually. At first I thought that's just annoying, but it's actually quite fun. It's like having a dump valve, you just rev up to the dump valve, don't you? Oh yes. You rev up to the dump valve, get the whoosh. And then smile. <laughs> it's quite funny. We're going to Abu Dhabi. We're in Abu Dhabi. We're in it. We're in it. We're in it. <laughs> That's why I like driving it. Why now you see it. Now you feel it when you put your foot down. It just makes you smile. It's, it's just like around there. It just grips. It's like a computer game. It's weird. Really well. 
like it doesn't feel it feels a lot quicker driving it than it does actually sitting as a passenger for some reason. Yeah. I'm actually quite impressed with the way it grips. You like that do you? I do like that. You know what? I'm not wowed with the, the power, but the steering itself and the handling's bob on. <laughs> Noise. It's like me with your dumbbell though, isn't it? Yeah, but, but that's a proper noise. Well, if you could have a dumbbell, which you can, or that noise, what would you rather? A dumbbell. Yes. That shows that you are a true 80s baby. Only just. But still an 80s baby. Do you know when I was born? 80. No, 81. The 80s baby. Even more. No, I, I've rogued you. Should be magazine worthy now. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's great, but I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it handles better than the clear. You think so? Yeah. Good. Yeah, but then if I was to put, which I won't because I haven't got it anymore, but if you'd have put coil overs on it, I think it'd make a difference. Alright, so we'll go. Take 10. <laughs> Take 10 and finally finished. Yeah, so that was uh, my first video, a bit of a trial for me. Plenty more things to come, plenty more ideas um, being thrown around. Hopefully you got some good content coming up soon. So if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe and like and comment. And? Hit the MF bell. <laughs> hey, see you later. Bye. When my friends go, it was simple. When there is no... Switch the tempo I got a right, I got a heart I don't die, I'ma fight I go down, bet I strike I go hard day and night Yeah